In South America, that woman's flight has been canceled. She says in Spanish, don't give me my money back. I don't give a damn, but this is gonna cost you. You are number one, she says. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe she was actually flipping the bird. A couple of things. I have a feeling most of us have probably had the same urge to go crazy and tear apart an airline ticket counter. I mean, anybody who flies has inevitably experienced a canceled flight or delay, or has perhaps been bumped off of a plane for no apparent reason. And then when you call the 800 number to reschedule, there was that recorded message saying, no operators are available, or the website is down. Altogether, it is, to say the least, infuriating. So I appreciate this woman's anger, but this is not an effective way to make an airline or any other business pay. More on that in a moment. First, here's part of the destruction in slow motion. As she underscored, if you are going to destroy a computer screen, first pull it away from the power cord and then use both hands to smash the device to the floor. But remember, there is a cost-benefit analysis you should consider first. The airline will likely have your name or will get it if you go nuts. And that means that even if you do not get arrested, you will likely be placed on a permanent no-fly list. Is that really worth the damage you inflicted on some computer equipment? A couple of IT folks have weighed in on this video and they say there's nothing an IT department likes more than a device that is totally destroyed because that means the IT folks can simply replace the device instead of having to spend time rewiring and fixing it. So you're making them happy. Also, replacing the computers and cables is not very expensive. It appears this disgruntled flyer destroyed three devices. And some friends who are computer experts who have watched this video estimate the woman caused maybe $2,000 in damage, max, that's it. Now, that may have been more than the cost of her ticket, but it's pocket change to an airline and to most businesses. The better way to respond, if you have the time, is to make it personal. File a formal complaint against anybody who was unhelpful or write a personal letter to the airline CEO and distribute copies of your letter to media publications and to social media platforms. My airline industry friends say there's nothing an airline executive or employee despises more than having to spend time explaining things to human resources and to the PR department. Now, I appreciate that some of us just want immediate gratification and prefer to get the anger out of our system. I get it, and I've been there. But take a deep breath, and remember, airline employees do not like canceled flights either, and they have to deal with angry passengers nearly every day. By the way, when flyers do get on an aircraft, thanks to climate change, there's now a greater chance of this. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.